Hi all, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I am going to show you, how to create pixel stretch effect in Photoshop. This picture I have downloaded from pixels.com, image link I have given in the description box. You can download it from there. It is very large image. So we need to reduce this image size. For that go to image menu and click on image size. Then change image height to 1000 pixels. Hit OK button to close the dialog box. Zoom in image using Ctrl plus. Now click on the lock icon to unlock the layer. Then we need to edit canvas width to 1000 pixels. To edit canvas size, again go to image menu and click on canvas size. Shortcut is Alt Ctrl C. Now set canvas width to 1000 pixels. After that hit OK button to close the dialog box. Now create new layer then drag it to bottom. After that, change foreground color using color picker tool. Then go to edit menu and click on the fill option. Make sure your content must be foreground color. Now layer filled with foreground color. Now select single column marquee tool from the tools menu. And select one portion of this image. We don't need entire selection. So I am going to subtract the selection using Marquee tool. Duplicate this selected area using Ctrl plus J. Then go to Edit menu and click on Free Transform option. Scale it to 100% of the canvas size. Make sure your Maintain Aspect Ratio is disabled when you are scale up. Now we need to flip this pattern to vertical. Right click inside the transform control and choose flip vertical. Now go to filter menu and choose polar coordinates from the distort option. Now hide the top layer and duplicate the model layer. To duplicate layer right click on the model layer then choose duplicate layer option. After that click on the properties icon then scroll down to bottom. You can see remove background option. Click on it and wait a moment Photoshop will automatically remove background using Auto Intelligence. This option available only from Photoshop CC 2020 onwards. Move this masking layer to top. Now select the masking layer thumb. Layer masking works with black and white color. Now I am going to hide some portion using black color. Then select the brush tool first. Your brush hardness should be 100%. Use it like what I am doing. When we use brush on edged area it has some limitation. So let's select this area using pen tool and fill it white.
Use Control plus Enter to make selection. And fill foreground color using Alt plus Backspace. Select other area using Pen tool to hide. For that change foreground color to black and fill it using Alt plus Backspace. Use Control or Command plus D to deselect. Select Hand Portion 2 using Pen Tool and fill black color to hide that area. Use Shortcut Alt plus Backspace to fill foreground color. Now we need to add shadow effect to this picture. For that let's load selection on masking area. To make selection on masking layer, hold control key and click on masking layer thumb to load selection. Now decrease selection using lasso tool. Now create new layer below the masking layer. Then change foreground color to black. After that go to edit menu and click on fill option to fill foreground color. Let's hide the top layer to view the filled color. Now go to filter menu and choose Gaussian blur from the blur option. Set Blur Radius to 8.2 and hit OK. Then change Opacity Level to 64%. Now we can see Drop Shadow applied on some unwanted area. Let's remove this using Polygonal Lasso Tool. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please subscribe my channel and hit bell button to get latest updates.